Bigfoot comes walking along. He'll do a little dance all night long. Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't, I don't know how you got in here to the sports card, uh, doctor, offices. Um, I, I'm normally off today. Uh, I'm not doing my sports card doctor work. Uh, uh, and yes, I am the uh, sports card doctor. Um, thank you for showing up. And if you'd like to uh, subscribe to the channel, and tell your ASMR friends about the weirdness that happens here. Uh, tell them it's a channel that combines ASMR and sports card nostalgia. And that's not groundbreaking, but we do have little tiny Bigfoot feet. Um, uh, what brings you in today? I'm not doing any uh, sports card medical services today. I'm not cutting up any cards. You'd, you'd like to buy some sports cards? You, Well, it's not a card shop. Have you, uh, have you considered going over to Lloydville with uh, Lloyd's ASMR? I'm sure he's selling cards over there. He's great at what he does. And tell him sports card ASMR and the sports card doctor sent you. No. Okay, you'll consider it? Okay, that's good. Go over to Lloyd's channel, but you'd like to buy some cards right now? Okay, happy to sell some cards. Um, uh, let's uh, go ahead and do this here. Um, uh, it's, it's my day off, so I'm not even going to worry about the 737 MAX 9 plane that's flying over my house right now and, and probably going to bust a door onto my head. But would you, would you like to buy uh, some Legends cards? Like... Um, Don Mattingly without a mustache, that's that's not off-putting, right? That's not a nightmare I had uh, in 1987 that was captured in this Donner's car. You don't want to buy that? Okay, what about a... Oh, I can't, I can't sell this card. I think it violates some sort of law for inappropriate... A, a Ken Griffey Jr. from 1990. Flair, not now the design of the Flair 90 is as empty as the stadium there. Oh, you sure? You sure? Did you know this 20-year-old finished third on the team with it? You don't, you don't want to buy the card. What about a more modern legend like Albert Pujols? This is one of his final cards. I'll sell it. 100, 200 bucks? You sure? Time, times are tough. Okay, that's for, What about this Bobby Valentine card that I've, uh, I've definitely, it's got a aftermarket designs on it to capture the true spirit of Bobby Valentine. You, you want, okay, no, you don't want that card. What about uh, this classic NFL card, Jack Lambert of the Pittsburgh Steelers? This was back when they played with only towels and, and no helmets. They didn't really worry about what would happen to anyone. He's a tough, I, he's a, I love Jack Lambert. No? Okay, I didn't want to sell that anyways. Uh, what about Scott Erickson and his poop strain face card? Do you want, you don't like that joke? You don't like scatological humor? Okay. What about this Randy photo of Randy Milligan? It's, it's a piece of art. It belongs in a museum where activists can throw soup at it. You don't, no? What, well, now, I'm, you want the Mark, you want to buy the Mark Malone card? I'm, I'm absolutely not going to let you buy the Mark Malone card. Okay. Well, since um, we didn't come to any kind of agreement there, I do have some cards here you might be interested in. I've got a box of... 1991 tops. 1991 tops. You might be able to get a Bo Jackson. You don't want the. You don't want the Bo Jackson. What if I was to? Uh, I'm not doing scissor work today, but what if I was to just cut that card out right there, and, and then you could tell your friends you bought a Bo Jackson. No. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so 1991 tops. It's got the bright red packaging. It's kind of its own work of art. Which I... No? Okay. I'll sell this whole box for 75 cents. I uh, actually repaired it. You can check out my uh, video on which I repaired this box. It's in very bad condition. You don't want 1991 tops, okay. What about, you like uh, modern stars? Huh? I have one pack. Oh, you're gonna want this. 
I got one pack of 2023 tops. Series one. It crinkles up real nice. Are you, I, I guess I should have asked that, are you, are you, um, are you buying cards to collect them, to, to crinkle the packages, to cut them up? You just want to take a trip through some sports card nostalgia. I, I got you. I got you. Okay. Well. Going once, going twice. You sure? Look. A second, I thought that was maybe a Babe Ruth card. No, okay. You don't want to buy that. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. What about the box? Do you just want to buy the box? It's a good box. Okay. Well, I don't know what else I might have for you here. What about? You didn't want the 1991 tops. What about the 1987 tops? Go for the green packaging, you know. Oops. <laughs> uh, you don't want that one now. Okay. That's fair. You, you want some 1987 tops? does crinkle nicely. I still think that the 2023 crinkles better. Seven tops for you. Um, uh, it's fifteen dollars. Um, cash only, please. No, I don't. I don't run afoul of the government. I just cash is king. You know what they say in the baseball card trade. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen dollars. You're gonna. You're gonna make me reach for it. Okay. I'm just gonna count it. I'm gonna count it out, okay? If you don't mind. Sir, I'm not a baseball card owner from the 80s, <laughs> okay? I'm just a simple sports card doctor that tries to provide relaxation with a fun mix of sports card nostalgia that's 
I'm just a humble ASMR artist, okay? And a, and a real humble, humble one. You should, you should really consider subscribing. I'd love to become a monetized channel and, and not have to do uh, actual chiropractic videos. No? Okay. All right. I'll open up the pack for you. a thing, you know? Yeah. It's usually at this point that people who are still watching the channel thinking it's just a sports card channel um, leave. Um, Alright, I'll put that over there. Okay. Let's see what you got here in your pack of cards here. Alright, you already got some superstars, I can tell you that much. Alright. Uh, spring training, that's for you, sir. Ed Romero. Boston Red Sox. He, he, yep, he does look like uh, your postman from 1989. Frank Williams. It's a he. It's a painted card. He was not on the Giants. He was on the. Uh, I think. Pot no. Well, that's weird. It looks painted. Maybe it's not. I don't don't. Steve Michelle. He's uh, four foot seven in this photo. Would you like? No, that's not a superstar. Uh, what about New York's Met, New York Mets superstar pitcher Bruce Bereni? Yeah, even Bruce is shocked that they took a photo of him. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, what about catcher extraordinaire Rick Cerrone, caught for the Yankees many times, many many times. No. Ah, uh, we got a superstar right here, Alvin Davis, Seattle Mariners superstar. Look, he's a rookie of the year from 1984, 116 RBIs, 27 home runs. You know, back then, 18 home runs and 72 RBIs was considered an all-star worthy. I think I'd be happy with that card. Kevin Gross, Mitch Webster. Look at those Expo uniforms from back in the day. Ah, uh, the late, great Dick Hauser passed away um, during the late 80s. Sad tale. Former Yankee coach turned royal manager. Really kept that organization in tip-top shape. Navarro Espinosa. One of the shortstops for the Yankees before that uh, punk kid Derek Jeter came in, you know? No? What about Frank Viola? You know, when I was a kid, I thought Frank Viola was really old, but turns out he was like in his 20s in this photo. I know, hard to believe. What about the late great Dan Quisenberry? The Royals lost two greats in Dick Hauser and, and Dan Quisenberry, one of the best summer right side armors of all time. That's a great card. You should be happy. We have a 1986 record breaker. Dave Rigetti. That's a good card. I'm going to quickly clean that one up for you, okay? That's a good one. No added, no added cost. The sports card doctor's going to clean this up for you. I mean, I'm not even supposed 
supposed to be using those tools today. They're not even sanitized. What? What? Nothing. I, I didn't say anything. Chris Chambliss, towards the end of his career, but a solid player. Jim Traber, he's got a, like a warm-up, like rain jacket under his uniform. It's pretty much the style of the time. He was considered cool. Bill Mooneyham. I uh, don't know anything about that. Mike Woodward, you got a great pack. You got a great pack, all right? You, sh you need to be convinced. Look at this great pack. videos. They're very relaxing, very popular. It wasn't the best gift wrapper as a kid, I'll be honest. Does it, and I had a job at Abercrombie and Fitch. They fired me by lunch. Couldn't fold those shirts back. Tell you what, okay. Um, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, the planes fly over here all the time. They're, they don't care about relaxing. I don't. I don't have time to fix that one today. All right, so I'm just gonna hand that hand that to you. All right, perfect. Well, thank you for coming to the sports card doctor for uh, some baseball cards. We'll we'll sell some more later. Yeah, you have a nice. You have a nice. You want what? You want five dollars back? Uh, times are tough. I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I really need this. 